Hi, Ben Carpenter here. I'm going to make this video to discuss and or dispute one of the sentences which gets uh, used over and over and over again in flexible versus rigid dieting debates. Now, that sentence is that fast food has a different hormonal effect on the body to healthy or clean eating. So, first things first, I'm not necessarily pro fast food. What I am is pro correct information. So if someone is on the same side as me in a debate, but they're using incorrect or misleading information, I think it's important to point out for the good of you, the consumer, because that way you get to make your own educated decision rather than being misled by someone who's presenting um, incorrect information. So first things first, if you're comparing two foods, which have different macronutrient makes, makeups, this does not make sense. So, for example, someone said that calories don't matter because um, 100 calories of cake and 100 calories of chicken would be different. Well, duh, yeah, of course they're different. One is high protein, low carb, low fat. The other one is low protein, high carb, high fat. So to compare two foods with vastly different macronutrient ratios doesn't make sense. What does make sense is comparing things with similar macronutrient uh, ratios to see how the fast food or the clean version of that food, how much that makes a difference rather than the macronutrient difference itself. So there is scientific data on this topic. So it's sensible to bring this in rather than just presenting my information which I've plucked out of thin air. So the hormonal effect of a fast food meal has been studied. What we have is meal number one we have burger, fries, and a root beer. The root beer was sweetened with high fructose corn syrup, and the burger was a Big Mac, no less. Meal number two, an organic beef version of the same meal. Instead of high fructose corn syrup, it was sweetened with table sugar or sucrose. And then meal number three, a turkey meal equivalent. Instead of the fries, they have granola. Instead of the root beer, we have organic orange juice. So, Big Mac, fries, and high fructose corn syrup root beer. Organic beef burger, um, fries, and root beer with sucrose. And then organic turkey meal with granola instead of fries, and organic orange juice instead of root beer. So, out of these three meals, which do you think would have the different hormonal effect? And what hormones do you think would differ after eating them? So, this study looked at glucose insulin, leptin, ghrelin, free fatty acids, triglycerides, HDL and LDL cholesterol levels, and cortisol. So it was thorough. They weren't just looking at glucose and insulin. So out of those three meals, pick your winner. Now, in terms of hormonal response from those three meals, there were no significant differences. The only difference was a decrease in LDL levels following the organic beef meal. So although these three meals had similar macronutrient makeups, not identical, which would have strengthened the study slightly, although they had similar macronutrient makeups, the fatty acid composition with each three meals did differ. So LDL levels dropped from the organic beef meal, perhaps due to its um, lower saturated fat and trans fat um, composition within that meal. But in terms of comparing the three, looking at the hormonal effects, there were no differences between the three. So take home messages. Does there appear to be um, a hormonal effect from eating fast food compared to clean eating? Not if you're looking at something with macronutrient makeup. No, there's no evidence to, to suggest this. Um, this is not to say that fast food is as healthy as something you would make at home. This is looking at one meal in an isolated case in the context of your overall diet. So this study would help um, support the hypothesis that someone can have a fast food meal within the context of a healthy diet without adverse health reactions. This is not to say that you can only eat fast food and there would be no adverse health reactions. This study just looks at the acute, the short term effects. So um, to present another side of the coin, um, there is a piece of research that shows that a meal enriched with trans fatty acids 
had a heightened insulin response compared to a meal of similar macronutrient makeup um, enriched with cis fatty acids. However, this research was done in people with a fatty acid binding protein polymorphism. So to extrapolate that and apply it to healthy humans, um, you, you, you see what I mean. So the research comparing these th three meals, in terms of fast food, there appears to be no significant macronutrient differences. So of course, I'm not saying go out and stuff your face with fast food. What I'm saying is that if you are someone that tells people they shouldn't eat fast food. It isn't because of the hormonal difference amongst three meals. Because the hormonal difference of one meal in an isolated case doesn't appear to differ significantly. The hormonal difference over the course of several years might be different. But in terms of one meal, in the context of an overall healthy diet, there appears to be no issue. So, um, I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you've got any questions, please feel free to ask them on my Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash Ben Carpenter Personal Training, or my Twitter page, which is BDC Carpenter. And thank you for watching. Bye.